Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. This is ReZero Lost in Memories, and it is the Suppression of the White Whale event. Now, I haven't really covered many events for this game in particular because they've all been pretty much the same. Well, this one throws in a little bit of a lottery, a little bit of a twist, and a really big boss. Now, those of you familiar with the anime, you know that this is a huge story arc. It involves Teresia van Astrea and also Wilhelm being, you know, the guy that kind of fell in love with her and she was like a super sword fighter. If you saw the anime, you know what I'm talking about, but she basically gobbled up by the big old whale, if I remember. And this is the quest to subdue the white whale. Actually, the, the suppression of the white whale, I think that's the actual translation for the event itself. <laughs> First up, we have a new character, Th Teresia Van Astra. And believe me, she is a good character, at least thus far. I haven't been able to level her up much just because she just came out, and I got really, really lucky to get her. Now, yellow element characters and purple element characters, you know, there's no real weakness or strength or whatever except yellow, purple, purple, yellow. But yellow characters tend to hit really freaking hard regardless, and I don't think she's going to be any exception. I got really lucky and pulled her right off the bat. Unfortunately, I don't have the materials to level her up or anything, but here's the basic gist of her or whatever. She's offensive. She gives a 35% damage bonus in arena if she's the lead. And all of her stuff is basically like speed up, attack, 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 attack. That's what she is. Now, if you guys remember the anime, she was incredibly talented, incredibly powerful, and in all reality, you know, I hope I get to use her a little bit more and uh, level her up in time, because, my God, I have a feeling that she's probably going to be the most powerful character in the game. I don't know that for a fact yet, but so far, so good. I got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Now, the event itself does follow the typical format. Let's go whoop this whale a little bit. Now, the difference with this one is, is there's three different things that will give you a bonus to the little tickets you get at the end that you can spend on the actual lottery. It's basically the same tickets that you get in all the other events, but instead of just spending it on what you choose, it's a lottery to buy out, and the more you buy out, you get stuff for a character that you get well helm here. Now, Teresia gives you a bonus, along with the special craft essence in the gacha, which I have not got, and also a previous version of Amelia. Now, you can kind of see that up here. These are the ones that are going to give you your bonus, so you really want them in your party, which means if you have them and haven't leveled them up, or you don't have them at all, it's a good idea to try to get them. Also, this event's giving, like, a lot of jewels and everything. When I first, before I did this event, I did uh, some gotcha. I got her on the first 10 pull that I did, got lucky. I know in my previous uh, <laughs> little two month review or whatever, I was like, my average is, luck is below average. Well, maybe it's up to regular average now with this pull, because uh, that is for some luck. But let's go whoop this whale. Now, is there anything special with the whale? Well, it's actually really hard to tell what abilities and everything he has. Essentially, what you want to put together is your most versatile, powerful group while also being able to get that bonus. Now, scrolling down here, I was able to defeat the 45,000 level boss, but unfortunately, I only beat it once. I tried three different times. One time I got it. And I could defeat it more if I didn't take my bonus characters with because they're not leveled up. If they were, and I had the resources to do it, that could be a different story. So I've been sticking with the 40,000, just so I can get those points. This is the group makeup that I'm using. As you can see, I got Amelia and Teresa in there, and they're only 56 and 54, while the boss is 75. So there's a risk of them dying, but I'm not terribly worried about that, because my other three characters here, they can make up for it. Let's beat it up. And this thing's huge! Watch. It big! Takes up the whole damn screen! That thing is kind of creepy, though. But that's what you're dealing with. Big-ass flying whale that apparently has bad breath. 
<laughs> now I just leave it on auto. Like a lot of times, you know, people want to use do these uh, fights manually, and while that can improve your ability to defeat a boss, yeah, I like to leave it on auto because if you have a proper group formed and you leave it on auto, well, it shouldn't be a problem to defeat it. And immediately does a lot of damage there. Now, the full mechanics of this fight, I'm not exactly sure. You can see up in the top right that he has a lot of different buffs. He's got a stupid amount of buffs on him, and he does hit hard. But thankfully, a lot of his stuff is single target. Ah, today's is special. Fortunately, it's not going to do much of anything because, you know, she's just not high enough level. This going to hurt. Hurt enough to kill it. And that's what you're doing. You're doing that over and over to basically get points, and then those points you can use into the lottery, which I'll go ahead and do. You see, up top, that's what you normally get, the little medals there, and the ones on the bottom are the bonus that I got. So I, oh, what was that, like two-thirds, something like Math, whatever, skip. Math really gets me. <laughs> now, I've got a lot of medals here, so let's go to the top thing here, and... It's 600 for essentially a 10 pull. It's almost like they're it's a weird gotcha kind of thing, but you know, whatever. Right now, there's 31 of 51 left. Let's go ahead and do 10, see what I get. Some jewels, some skill level up materials, the story pieces. Eh, gonna end up getting a lot of that. And what I'm gonna end up doing here is well, right there, I just reset that one because I already got the main prize, so that's not a big deal. Look at that, 40, 40 more jewels, a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's keep pulling. Oop, that yellow one means I got, like, the main prize in that, so there we go. You're going to be able to get a lot of goodies in this, and I kind of appreciate that. Now, in the previous ones, you had the shop, and it was kind of static and everything, and... In all reality, if you get enough tickets, it's kind of the shop just the same. But, you know, throw it, throwing it in this little lottery format, at least it's different. The big complaint I had with ReZero was a lot of the stuff was the same, same old, same old and everything. And this, you know, it's basically the same, but it isn't. And I, and I get to, you know, clicky and hope that I get stuff good. It's, it, it's stupid, but it makes me feel better. Yay. <laughs> all right, well... Let's go ahead and get out of that. And that is essentially the event itself. Now you have the event gotcha. I've already gotten a copy of her, but I actually really want the craft essence, hopefully. And I certainly wouldn't mind getting more copies of her because like I said, I have a feeling it's going to be just like insane good. So, you know, while I'm on here, do a 10 pull. Maybe I'll do two. Depends what I get here. Rainbow door, rainbow door. That is not a rainbow door. All right. Doesn't look like it's going to be much of anything, so let's just go ahead and uh, skip here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, nothing worth anything. So I'll use, go ahead and do the next 10 pull. Hopefully we get that rainbow door and another copy of her, or at least the craft essence. Ah. Let's just go ahead and skip. Oh, 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 did I get it? I got it. That is it, right? Woo. Apparently, I had an upgrade and a couple other things that I didn't have or something here. Ooh. That is it. Let me. I need to double check. Yep, that's it. Okay, I got the craft essence now. So what I am going to do, go here, go here, find that craft essence, which is that. And what does it do? Oh, looks like attack power or something like that. Little bonus 10%. Looks like it's a little bit of strengthening there. Let's go ahead and boop. Right. That's 207,000, but takes it straight to 50. Yes, we will do that. All right. Well, right on the video. I got that pool. I'm happy with that. And also, you got the event missions. Every time you kill the boss, you're basically scoring up, right? You, you get like points or whatever, and the more you get, the more stuff you get. Look at that. There's there's a 300 jewel right there. 
the new the new craft essence that they introduced just for the event, but it doesn't give it an event bonus. I kind of wish they would instead of like the random gotcha one. That kind of sucks. But look at that. You get a whole bunch of goodies. And plus, that Wilhelm. That is, that is, yeah. We're getting good stuff. Oh, let's keep scrolling here. Go all the way. Oh, those are the ones I already got. From past ones. And that's essentially the event. But it basically follows the same template as the other ones, but it switches up the lottery thing. And plus, it's a giant freaking whale. And I really, <laughs> I, I like it. I don't know. It feels it feels different, and the character that they finally put in feels like a character that you know I wasn't really expecting, and you just get the feeling off the off the top that it's going to be a really good character, and I'm really hoping it's a really good character because I just spent a lot of jewels trying to get her. Well, more stuff of her, and yes, if I do have the opportunity, I probably will do another pool on it. So yeah, I recommend it. Go for it. Get your craft essence. Get your Teresa von Astrea and. Go whoop a whale's ass, I guess. <laughs> All right, with that, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, apparently, very shortly, they're going to be opening up more of the story as well, so keep an eye out on that. It's right now under lock and key, and there's also more in the regular combat that's coming up, so I expect that to unlock soon, and we'll see you in the next video.